Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. You can see there the US 30 has actually bounced a little bit off potential support around about 16.738. Um, as also in the back of some slightly disappointing data that came out from, from the US yesterday showing a slight rise in inflation. And that really brings into doubt uh, today's monetary policy meeting with the um, Federal Reserve Governor uh, due at uh, uh, 1800 GMT today uh, where we're expecting to see something relatively quite bullish out there but the hawks seem to be in control throughout today's session so we've actually seen some um, uh, some interesting moves on, on the US dollar uh, and uh, that uh, kind of monetary policy meeting later on today will be closely watched by a lot of uh, FX traders but it's kind of given a little bit of a, a shot in the arm for, for some equities it's just slowly grinding up that little bit higher uh, longer term potential resistance remains at 16,966 so looking at the UK 100, uh, it's a volatile couple of sessions actually, yeah, as can be seen by this long legged candle that we had there, was a lot lower yesterday at one point before it managed to uh, to drag its kind of um, head just above that potential uh, resistance at 6774. Um, it's not gone across there with a great whole lot of confidence mind you, but we have bounced off at 55 period SMA. We're still a fair distance away from the 21 period SMA, while most of the technical indi indicators are completely neutral. So. We'll have to see how that pans out throughout the rest of the session and there isn't a lot of economic data due until later on uh, but I'll come back to that in a second. But we do actually have the uh, the Bank of Bank of England minutes. Um, I'm not really expecting anything too major to come out of there. And you've got crude oil inventory due at 3.30. Looking at Japan 225, it's probably going a little bit higher today as dollar yen has been rising. So there's been um, weakness in the yen which is good for Japan 225. Um, and that's uh, kept it on the right side of 14.977. It needs to get to the next potential resistance at 15.212. The longer term, obviously, is much higher. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if dollar yen manages to retain um, its momentum going forward. Now, looking at this, uh, we do have a golden cross on moving averages. Uh, whereas most other technical indicators are slightly neutral, uh, just trading above that 55 period SMA is a, is a good start. Uh, the longer term potential resistance remains at 102 spot 87. So looking at Creole West Texas seems to be uh, quite volatile but well supported with the current fundamentals of Ukraine and, Ura and Iraq. Um, the last three sessions have had a lot of doji formations here that we are currently able to post a, a more bullish candle today that we have only just started the session. Um, lots of volatility there incidentally. We are making a pattern of lower highs here, so we'll be interested to see if today you can break that pattern. Uh, and obviously, longer term potential resistance remains around about $110. So, gold had had a great run there for a couple of sessions and has, uh, has come off about its profit taking of some concern over the monetary policy session today uh, had caused traders to book profits. But when that inflation data came out, and it was much higher than expected. Um, that was uh, a, a big shot in the arm also for um, for gold. Uh, very strong hammer formation here, uh, or potential, a potential hammer formation. We are trading above potential support currently, which was resistance at 12.67. Uh, though we are struggling to break higher this morning, but that 21 period SMA might provide a little bit of support. So euro dollar, uh, again also quite volatile. Uh, un unable to break above potential resistance at one spot 35.68. Um, you're actually seeing a little bit of yen, a little bit of euro strength against other crosses. So the dollar is just um, pushing a little bit harder against this as well. We need to get above this to be able to rechallenge potential resistance at one spot 36.45. But I think the reality is that the current fundamentals is is more US dollar positive than it is uh, euro positive. Um, but we'll see, for as long as that remains intact, the next potential resistance will be at the bottom of this uh, this candle right here, so close to one spot 35, then one spot 34.55. And we finish up now with GBP USD, uh, which has been very popular with uh, CMC clients for the last couple of sessions. Uh, we look to be having a rechallenge of potential resistance at one spot 70, big psychological level. We broke it there on Monday, we got to one spot 70.11. Um, but once we manage, if we manage to get a break and close above 170, you got 170.48 as a long-term potential resistance. We're still close to five-year highs right here on GBP USD, uh, and this is where a lot of FX traders will still be putting a lot of their attention. So we already talked about economic data with the Bank of England, England minutes due at 9:30. Probably nothing too exciting to call for there, but you never know. Uh, and then the crude oil inventory data. If you've been trading crude oil, that will be a, a, a really important bit of data to look at. 
uh, compounded by the current um, kind of conflict fundamentals in Iraq and Ukraine. If the inventories are a lot less than expected, that could cause some interesting moves in uh, West Texas. If it comes in wildly um, better than expected, that can also be quite volatile. Now, later on tonight, that's 7 uh, UK time, we've got the FOMC uh, minutes right there. Uh, and that will be the, uh, the section to have a look at uh, today for clients who are trading that a little bit later. And if we fast forward on to Thursday, uh, that will be the 19th there, you've got the retail sales in the UK, which will be good for cable again, and jobless claims in the US. And we finish up with the Philly Fed uh, business activity at 3 o'clock. So um, there are a fair amount of fundamentals due today, but it's all about that FOMC meeting due later on today. Keep your eye on the chart form as ever, make insights part of your layout, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.